Oh my goodness, I didn't see that before, Baz. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. Come on, come on. Hello? Hello, Hello Baz, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, hello. Listen, we need to talk immediately. Have you seen the new teasers coming out? The new teasers? What, what do you mean? There's the, new ones? Yeah, man. Oh my god, they're just this, like, today, right now. Another, there's just another one. They've dropped another one. But this changes the game. Do you understand? What? Are you talking about the, 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 the charity stream? Yay! Yeah, what? That was over a month ago. Pardon? Hello? I'm hanging up now. No, please. No, no, no I've got really good idea. Hello? Look. Baz, that was so funny. Do you know what's going to happen? What's that? I'm, what having a, that? I'm having a wee-wee break, so I'll be two minutes. Keep the audience entertained. You know, don't, right. don't, don't discourage them too much. Keep them, keep them there. Keep them nice and steady. Okay. So, guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, but this video is going to be a bit different because it's going to be me uh, singing. Okay, ready? Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Jason Derulo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is Ryan actually gone? He's gone, hasn't he? He's left me. With all these FNAF images, eh? I know that we're a little bit late to the party, guys, but it's here. Loads of them. Look. Look at all this juicy content. If, we're, if the, we were the old 8-bit gaming, these would be one video per image, 500k views per image, and there would be a purple man in the background of every single one of them. So let's go, baby. Let's start with the first one. <clears throat> Is Ryan still gone? I'm I actually not. You know, I, was just sitting, yeah. I was just sitting nice and quiet, actually. I was just having a listen to how you was treating the audience. <laughs> <laughs> so what is going on guys this is ryan here and this is baz here and welcome back guys to another video where for this one we figured what we'd actually go ahead and do is take an in-depth look at some of the different teasers that dorko dropped on his wwf charity uh, around about three to four weeks ago i think yes yes it was uh, quite the event if you weren't there it was. We didn't get much time to actually look at these. Like, of course, we right. saw them as they were dropping, but we didn't take the time to, like, look into them. So yeah. I think even though this is probably a little bit of an older video, it might be interesting for us to do and maybe for you guys to see some things that maybe you missed before. I mean, to be fair, the security breach trailer was over a month old as well. So, I mean, we're just really far behind yeah. is all. Yeah. So we, we're really, uh, you know, we're not, we're not keeping up anymore. But what's happened to us, you know? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're the old. We're slow. You know, maybe, maybe we should go back to FNAF Four again. You know? Yeah. Go back to the very beginning. No, you know, I, I, we need to talk about more bads. The man in the monitor, I reckon. Do you know what I mean? Because that. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and yes, back in the dog as well. Yeah, but he's real, so that that doesn't. That's not a theory. That's fact, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So you know, I don't know what people are thinking. <laughs> I guess the first image is kind of, it's a very self-explanatory one. Like, some of these are yeah. going to have next to nothing to speak about when it comes to looking yeah. at them. But this one is just the logo. It's showing the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Megaplex or Mega Pizza Plex. Um, I don't yeah. know. Like, what do you see in this? Um, like, I think this is just introducing us to the new characters, obviously. It's not the, the Freddy gang as we know it. Obviously, yeah. this is different. I mean, this one's called Chica, I believe. It's still yes. called Chica. Glamrock and this Chica. one's still called Freddy. Uh, yep. But these two are completely new. We've got to... Monty, and I forget the other one's name. Oh, no. Ah, yeah. So it's Glamrock Chica, Glamrock Freddy. We've got Montgomery Gator, and then the lady is called the Roxanne, or the Roxanne, ah. called Roxanne. So she's also a wolf. So it's sticking with the animals, apart from there's no, like, bear variant for Bonnie. So that's kind of, or yeah. bunny variant, should I say. So that's kind of interesting. I think one small nod in this first image is that if you look at the floor and also the trim, that goes back to FNAF 1. It's the same pattern oh, yeah. design. So yeah. it's kind of showing a bit of homage to the original FNAF still. I don't know if that's hitting that maybe the same company is still involved with this. Like that that's a shot in the dark. I don't yeah. know. Because Sparky's this was real, like, by the way. This was very like uh what? What was that? Sparky is real, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. Sparky <coughs> well, we didn't we didn't need to say that. But like this was like an eighties thing, was it not? Or seventies yeah. thing. So it's like I guess it is a, a an homage. As yeah, for sure, for sure. Interesting, though, to yeah. see. Okay, this next image is a complete contrast, though, to what we saw before. It's very interesting what we're seeing here. Yeah, this is called Utility Door, is it? Utility yeah. Doors. It's very... Go away. 
Very interesting to see all these wires and stuff draping down. Like, on the front, they keep the pizzeria looking nice and clean, but it just seems like down here, it looks like an almost like a bad factory, you know, like with red lights. Yeah. It makes me think, though, like these hints of colors that we've got. So you see the green there and then there's blue. Is that like where the Zones. gator area is? Exactly. Like, is yeah. that where the golfing zone is? Like the back entrance, I you know? I feel like, yeah, this is definitely going to be like maybe shortcuts to different areas. Yeah. But I feel like at that expense, there could be an animatronic in here that kind of can get you I think so there the arrows yeah, down the bottom there's a I, th I, I forget the pictures on those but there, you can see them much more clearly in the trailer yeah but yeah, I, I was gonna say um what was I gonna say hello hi hi bloody and heck, this is, is the it? moment where I kind of had a brain <laughs> fart no I was thinking that's it I was thinking of how the game is actually gonna play out in terms of like um is it going to be zone to zone to zone or is there going to be like a main part where you can choose where you want to go? Is it going to be more free roam or is there going to be a set path Who knows? in which you like is this? I don't know. It feels like like I said, I feel like this is maybe a shortcut between yeah, areas. Man. And, and also it's an interesting point to note as well as we see those arrows at the bottom pointing two ways. But if you look at the very bottom of this image, there's also two arrows. There's like this kind of yellow strip and there's all those arrows. I don't know if that's some kind yeah. of like, is that something for the code of the animatronics? Like, are we not to pass this point? You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, like it can't go past the yellow tape almost. Hard that, to know. It, interesting. It's hard, yeah, it's hard to understand. But from that one, it's dark, it's creepy. You know, I think that's all which they're trying to show with this one. That it's not all going to be sunshine and rainbows. And the next one is a complete contrast. We've got neon Ooh. lights everywhere. But this one is, again, it's kind of hard to get much from it other than, like, it looks like a maze. It's combining all the animatronics. It's quite clearly a homage to Freddy in space also. I don't, I, like I said before, this, I mean, it, they said it's a superplex or what is yeah. it, pizza superplex? Mega pizza this plex. Is probably so. the, the biggest building I've ever seen, probably going to see in my life. Because yeah. each area, like I said in, like, a previous video... Is like an, a hangar in itself. Right. Much. It's like co to colossal scale. It's like a whole amusement park being crammed under one roof. So, yeah. like, look how tall that roof is, actually. That's like a 100 foot roof. That's scary. The heck yeah, is exactly. Like, it's like a football stadium, man. Like, what the heck? And it makes you think what's going to be like, because obviously we see Chica and uh, Glamrock Freddy here. So, it could um, be hints to zones. Yeah, I mean, are we gonna be? Are we going against both of these in this zone, or like, would this be Freddy's zone, or is it? It'll be interesting to see how it all uh, pans out. In for that sure, sense. for sure. Yeah, I'm very interested. I mean, alter alternatively, if it's not amazing, it could because it's called the Phaser Blaster Arena. It could be like a kind of laser tag experience. So that oh, would yeah. that would also be interesting to see. It's like two different teams. You've got the red and the green, but who knows? Who knows? Oh, this next one, I actually never really got to look at this. It's not, it doesn't show much, but I think this is actually really, really nice to show just the so, display. Yeah, so this is obviously where you'd go to pay for whatever this is, like exactly. laser tag. It's obviously laser tag. Yeah, now that we're seeing it. Hands. Yeah, um, now that we're seeing that. But yeah, um, it, like it's very hard to talk on, like, because obviously it's there's not much info here. No, I, but think... I guess that. The RTX, though, is doing something because you, you can see the background <laughs> yeah. of what you're looking at through the very wall true. there, which is pretty cool. That's very true. Yeah, I think this one just kind of goes to show, like, the the scope of this place. Like, you'd pay there, and then you go into the Phaser Blast Arena immediately after. Uh, not not yeah. too much there. It's just kind of showing, like, the artistic stuff that they've built here. Also, look, what's going on with Freddy's hat? Look, how is that staying in place? That is a it's fantastic... The... You should see the super glue underneath, Baz. You should see it. <laughs> yeah. It's actually super glued to his head. You can't get that <laughs> thing off. It's actually not even real. You're just hallucinating again. Oh, this is like the one of the nicest looking ones called yeah, Owl's man. Chip. It looks, looks, it looks so really nice. nice. Yeah, there's so, so much like to get from this. This is like a Mexican kind of restaurant, I guess. Is Definitely. Owl Chip. Definitely, yeah. And we can see down in the bottom left, there's more evidence of like these kind of robot animatronics. They don't just come in the same form as, you know, two arms, two legs running at you. This little side post is also an animatronic. So, yeah. like, it just makes you think how many different variations of animatronics are we going to be seeing in this place? Little wall -y looking thing. I was it, thinking yeah, right. Chip. Al Chip is probably uh, he's, um, a reference to his one of the first games Scott made. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Chipper, chipper and, and Sons. Sons. Yeah, you can even see him on the on the right, like on the on the wall. There's a small chipper, it looks like, facing away. So, but this is like a, an advanced party room almost, because uh, you can see all the. This is yeah, obviously man. where you come to eat. It's a restaurant, but and it's like the advancement that's been made since the first one is absolutely insane. Just crazy. And it, as you look, as you go back, you can see like the actual like arcade zone. You've got like those kind of air hockey tables. It looks like it goes into machines. So like, who knows what's gonna go on there? Hopefully, some like fun mini games. Oh, Roxy right, Raceway. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I didn't see this. 
Holy Whoa. crap. That's awesome. Okay. So, okay. So I think there's going to be some kind of like racing mini game within this one. It might be fun and it'll be interesting to see how each of these animatronics are explored. Um, but yeah. yeah, you can see like cups on the left hand side. There's a motorbike on the right. All sorts of things. I was say, yeah, that like maybe this is why it's taken so long for them to make because Definitely. there's so many different mini games within like what's happening here. So you've got laser like tag, it. you've got go karting, yeah, just... uh, you've got a freaking uh, I don't know some kind of um, uh, obstacle course with the gator thing. It, yeah, man. Just, I'm really looking forward to uh, each each zone in honesty because it's looking. It's gonna promising. be it's gonna be really interesting to have to explore them all. But yeah, this one is just simply the entrance, I think, and the next one is a bit more interesting. This one is actually, I think, in reference to... Well, it says the West Arcade. So this one might actually go back to what's just past, like, the uh, where we see our chip zone. So that could yeah. be interesting. And we see evidence right there on the wall of the, the Moondrop character, which is another one of these hidden animatronics that we didn't know about too much before, but then we learned more about. It seems like maybe Moondrop is to do, in that case, with the Arcade or the Fazcade, and then the Sun version, which I forget their actual name, is more to do with, like, the, the ball play area, stuff like that. And I think it, it's probably, uh, it represents you know maybe the night represents it getting spookier and the day represents safety maybe or like it could like be that. i mean you can see on the right hand side there's evidence of uh roxanne like the racing stuff like uh decals on the wall and stuff so maybe the fazcade links closely or the west arcade uh links closely to where you could find roxanne's area that lighting bill is just not going to be worth it i'm go i'm just going out and saying that man like <laughs> honestly yeah this this whole place must cost them a bloody fortune in, 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 in electrics <laughs> i'm just yeah just i see this i see this image here and i'm just seeing dollar signs to the to the electricity company man like but Dang. then again, the, the the fact that they can afford to do this goes to show how popular and big the Everything franchise has, must be. Has gotten, yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like this image is fairly self-explanatory. I think this is going to definitely be the entrance to yeah. maybe... Well, it says right there, Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. He's still the lead man. You can see all along the side is lines of these little plushy dudes, which I want to steal one to be fair and take it back with me, but... I don't yeah, know if you I know can. what I was thinking. Like Freddy in this universe has now turned into Mickey Mouse almost. Disney. Pretty much, yeah. He's like, like this, this is like crazy Disney mascot. Pretty much. Yeah, man. I think it, I think it's kind. Of, it speaks volumes for maybe how big everything got. And I think what this game is going to do is definitely kind of take us back from this point. And we might read things which is like, oh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is bought by X person. Uh, the yeah. revenue's gone up like ten thousand percent. Worldwide oh, popularity, be... you know. Yeah, that would be really interesting to see, like, hidden lore, like, that you can actually pick up, or collectibles that you can, like, pick up and, like, put piece of the lore together on what's, you know, up to this point on what's been happening. You that'd know cool. they're going to do that as well. They did that with the uh, with Help Wanted, like, with the tapes and stuff like that. So, it, I mean, it's ripe for the picking, man. And, th and they always yeah. do, like, the theories and stuff. And with Scott especially overseeing this, you know it's going to be really cryptic, and but we will figure it out in the end. This one's Gator Golf Sub Lobby. So this isn't even the main... The main bit, this is where you go before you actually go in to the golf thing. This is Pretty the lobby much. area. And you can, yeah, this you is can insane. You can see some crazy things here. Like, first of all, on the far left, there's a what looks to be a slide into a ball pit, but that's like a 90 degree slide. I don't know about safety there, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally, the, <laughs> there's, there's a, an abrupt <laughs> end, so they just fall to their death, basically. Yeah, I was going to oh say, my not, God. I don't think that was going to pass health and safety, but, you know, I don't no. think this place really will as, as a whole. It's like that action park in America that got shut down because, like, not, like, loads of people died there. I, I feel like this this place is going to be soon following the books, but What's yeah, this, this one you can see you can see let's party to the uh, to the yeah. right hand side. So that kind of shows that maybe Monty's Gator Golf is at the top and Chica Zone is just underneath or something like that. Yeah, so that could be cool. Yeah, definitely. And what is this? This is a little. I just realised this is a little. Um, it's like tea cups. Tea cups. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, more golf cups actually. Come on, yeah, first, golf cups. Right. Come on, man. Oh no, tea cups. Think about it. You tee off tea cups. Oh. <laughs> All right. Nice one, nice one. Yeah, I feel like the next two are kind of very similar, but we'll talk about the first one to begin with. This one, it just goes to show, like, this is a kind of swampy zone, but one of the first things I noticed was that you see that, like, the rib cage and the, the meat on the top, it's almost like you're in the belly of the beast and these courses are yeah. inside. Um, but it, it just kind of, it's a bit, it's, a, it's an interesting course design. It's kind of, kind of freaky in the dark, to be honest. Yeah, it is, um... I wouldn't want to be here alone. Imagine no. like this place, you're on your own and there's obviously going to be sound effects and stuff when you do oh, the pot gosh. in and like, I reckon this is what will happen. It'll be like friendly, but then it will kind of glitch out. You know, like in the VHS tapes where it just like glitches out. Every yeah, now and then. yeah, it, it yeah. It turns something like 
oh, really no. like looking friendly and like all of a sudden out of nowhere it will just start glitching the voice will go demonic and then it'll be like nothing happened and you gotta carry on yeah i Ugh. reckon this is what's gonna happen there's a lot they can do with this i mean we know what, that we have the watch as well that something could easily happen to that whilst we're looking at it but yeah, I think the main design for this one, you can see like the the fish, like bones of fish in the in the upper side as well. So it's obviously like inside his stomach or something like that. That's the main inspiration for this one. And yeah, so as you said, the next pick is pretty much from the. I think it's from the point I think of view it, of the mouth here. Oh no, no it's, it's got to be totally different. So this is a more kind of grand look at the course in, as its whole because this one is uh, the one above is hole number thirteen. You can see there's a small walkway, uh, and then uh, maybe yeah. as you walk through. Yeah, look. It's there, look. You can see it, I think. Is that it? Wait, hang on. i got to see this now. No, I'm seeing things. I must be seeing things. I th yeah, I think I think what happens is this kind of... This zone expands into a totally different part, and this is just crazy. Like, there's... Uh, like, the, the course itself is going through, like, a caravan. It's clearly, like, yeah. swamp, jungle-inspired. Uh, this is, It just looks intense, this whole course. Yeah. And it's going to be nasty having to do this with an animatronic stalking you down at the same time. Exactly. Games within games. It's going to be interesting to see how they do that, how they, like... Um, like, are they going to make you play the game? Are there, is the animatronic going to make you play the game? And if you fail or you don't do better than the animatronic or whatever, you will die or get hunted down, maybe. I don't could know. be. I mean, and there's two There's two ways you could even look at this image, which kind of gets interesting. You could see this as a giant, like, Montgomery mouth where it's just kind of like you walk through this and on the tongue and into the course. Or the camera could be placed inside of Montgomery's mouth right here. And it could be saying that he'll be stalking you down whilst you're playing. Yeah. So that yeah, could be... Actually, uh, yeah. That could also be kind of interesting. I think here we go. This one's uh, this one's called Salon, Salon Two. I don't know why this one comes before Salon One, but who knows? This is obviously a completely new area, Glamrock yeah. Beauty Salon. So this, this is, is probably it. But what area would this be considered? This, Maybe could, this, this could, could be Rock a... Sands, to be honest. I feel like with the tire uh, yeah. on top, it feels like it might be a kind of like a racing zone or something like that. Yeah, but it's and hard I, to I can see. I can't help but notice this here as well. Kind of like, looks like the puppet oh, yeah. a little oh, bit. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, I see that now. Oh, no, <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's... Freddy bin. Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look inside. As you can see behind the counter, there's kind of like a neon light. It looks like it's going to be... I think that's Roxanne. It looks like you can kind of see, like, the the top lip and stuff like that. It doesn't quite look like Chica's face, so... I think they that's what it might be. This. I mean, Scott must have gave them his secrets or something, uh, like, he, because... It's like, he gives you... Enough information, but not the key ingredients that you need to piece it together. It's like it gives you a res it gives you an ingredient, but not the recipe to put it all together. Oh yeah, I mean. he knows exactly what he's doing when he does this stuff. And the next image, I guess, is just kind of the same thing, but it just kind of shows it from a different angle. You know, this a bit must be from the back though, scope. right? Oh no, and it's just from. The, so oh, you no. can see, like, for example, what when you were saying, like, the puppet on the side that is uh, then yeah, yeah. there. So That's maybe, there. maybe this will be kind of like a go karting mini game. You can see that the track is not as as big or anything like that. So that might be yeah. the direction there. If we scroll to the next one, finally, we see a little bit of a formidable character in the top left corner, Bonnie Bowl. Ooh. So there's a, a bowling oh, yeah. section at the top, but finally we see some of Bonnie's name, man. Like, because I, I was worried about this dude not making his appearance, but quite clearly there's still evidence of Bonnie existing here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think as well. There's like, a, if you look as well, it's like a Golden Freddy here with the purple hat. It's like Golden Fred Freddy. Bear. At the very top, you're right. It is a very interesting color scheme that they've used at the top there. It does purple hat, it, gold it, bear. It could be Fred Bear, you know. Yeah. This could be this I could mean, this could be thrown back to like the mini games where we never got to see these animatronics in 3D, you know. But obviously, what we're seeing here is the, the, like an in between area. Of, it seems like, like it. Like you know, you go that way. This looks. I don't know. This doesn't have much of a logo. I don't know where that's gonna go, but. You got Bonnie Bowling, you got Glam Rock. I think I think yeah. this is the main party area. If you look at the far back there, I think that might look like the stage with like the oval oh, yeah. part. So I could see yeah. uh, I could see the animatronics kind of partying away on there, but I'm I'm just saying, man. The, there's like there's like nine or I would say about twelve rows of tables, each with eighteen chairs. Like, what is it with kids in these universe and having like 160 friends to invite to a party? Yeah, I know, right? Like, my <laughs> gosh, what the heck is going on? A lot of friends. This one, yeah, I think I think the next three images really are just kind of showing the uh, animatronics because they each it seems like they all each have their own separate zone. Um, I don't know what will happen here. It looks like there's a door at the back with a stage performance, so it might be independent, something like that. Um, okay. But you can see on the floor there's a lot of like litter. It's almost like post party in this scene. 
Yeah. Well, Kinda, she's a rock star, man. This is a, that this is how true. They live. That is very true, yeah. So it could, that could even be like artistic directory, and it could be how the zone yeah. is supposed to look. What's that? Like, uh, it might be nothing, but if you look just underneath, you know how the stage has like that kind of green trim? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's that underneath that? Is that is that an animatronic or is that just dirt? Like, it kind of looks like Roxanne a little bit. I don't know if it is. Like, lying what, down. Under here? You, can you not see the silhouette? And, uh, like, just underneath your mouse? This here, there. Mm. There? What is this? There's like a mash down here. Oh, I, d I thought that was just junk or something. A race, race oh, steering wheel. Oh, it might wheel. be, yeah. Just the way the light yeah. was shining. Oh, wow. I was more concerned with this here, look. There looks like an eye in the middle of the, the oh, curtain. Oh, yeah, no, I see that. And it's interesting because in the image above as well, they didn't actually show the curtains. The curtains were open. In this one, they're closed. That, yeah, so obviously they're behind this curtain here. That could be an awesome nod to Foxy. You remember how he used to peek out yeah. at the uh, Pirate's Cove? Yeah, definitely. Because the curtains are the same color as well as Pirate's Cove. Oh, no, mm. no, they're not. Are Pirate's Cove curtains purple? I think they're purple, like purple oh, and red. I thought I was onto it. Look at him kick <laughs> it. Look at him stick? storming down on the left side. Look at that. And the curtain on that one is only one side, like, hung up. What's going on there? Like, I don't know. Like, is this for the public to view? Because I, I, I imagine know. they wouldn't actually have a green room for an animatronic. Right? Yeah. They could just put them away. It, yeah, and it feels you think odd, about man. the trailer, they all come from the floor. So I don't know why they even need all this anyway, unless this leads to the stage and they all go in. I can't uh, I can't help but feel like this is post something's gone down. Like if you look at the the seats on the right side, they're all completely damaged. And even like in Montgomery's the the kind of black and white with the red trim is completely snapped off where the sofas are. So See, that leads into the utility room. It it might be, yeah, with the purple carpet and is it that's in that's actually a really interesting one because you can see as well on, on the left side there's um the Freddy is there with the purple top hat and bow tie. And that's not yeah. what that's not what Glamrock Freddy has at all. You can clearly see on the reverse yeah. side of that is how his actual silhouette looks. So there's clearly homage to the original FNAF all throughout this place. And I'm loving these balloons here as well. I wonder if that's Oh there. my goodness. Little physics. Oh my goodness. I didn't see that before, Baz. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. What? Look look on the dresser top. Why would the original pictures be in this establishment too? Like, hang on, let me let me try and search this one up. So FNAF one uh children's drawings. Let me see this. They are the original. Oh my what? God. So uh, there's another picture right here of Freddy talking to a little girl, and it looks like this might be the same one here. This one here. Okay, this one here and this one here. Got you, got you, it's got you. It's the yeah. same image, man. This is so the why would the, why would the original FNAF one drawings be on this and here, desk? Look, uh, this one here and this one here, I think. This and then this one here, this one here. Oh, there is way too many similarities. That's that's very unusual. That doesn't. This is this thing. This is completely planned. What we're seeing yeah. right there. That is completely planned, guys. Yeah. That's Definitely. actually that's actually kind of creepy. Why they would be bringing back the FNAF one into this? And it's yeah, only when, in Freddy's yeah. room too. Yeah, that's where the the, the incidents took place. So that is, why would they want to show that? That is <laughs> so bizarre. That shows evidence that FNAF One, the original beginning, is linked to this brand new place. I feel like that's a, that's a kind of interesting discovery if no one else has seen that before. So we might we might look into one. that a little bit more, and we could look into this next one too, perhaps. But yeah, this one is just showing like it's it's like the Chica, the Glamrock Chica, has been completely destroyed and thrown down some kind of garbage chute and. It looks like there's piles of rubbish and animatronics just dumped down here, you know? Yeah, so, I, like, this, I thought she was on stage. What? Well, who's to say there's only one version of them, though, That's you know? That's what I was thinking. So why would they throw, like, they're obviously getting defective, and this is probably what Security Breach is all about, that something's, like, taking over these animatronics and making them defective. Couldn't, uh, like, consistently time and time again. Yeah, and they obviously think that maybe it's just like, I don't know, there's software or something, but it's actually something malicious from the outside that's doing this, and that's where Vanessa probably comes in. It could be. There's an interesting observation as well about Chica, and I, I again, I think this is straight symbolism, man. I Like, the Chica, when she's missing a beak, it looks so identical to the FNAF 2 Chica. 
Yeah, you know, Toy Chica, yeah. Like, it just because she did miss the beat. Yeah, she exactly she had a beak on stage, didn't she? Until she came, comes into the room, and, and she then have a beak and now look it. at that. The moment this animatronic goes bad, her beak is gone. It's almost like, uh, are we going to see these animatronics having similar traits to these guys that were in the other games? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Well, there's no Bonnie. It's kind of interesting. What about if we learn some weird tragedy about when they tried to bring back Bonnie, but he kept removing his face or something, so they got rid of him for Montgomery? You know? Yeah. Like. Yeah. I don't know. It feels like it feels like there's more there's more than meets the eye to these. Like, well, of course we know that's going to be the case. Um, yeah. But this one's an interesting one. We see there's two doors in the back. One's got the light and one's not. I don't know it, that. I don't really know what that could be showing, to be honest. But yeah, that door's open. Maybe this door's closed, or maybe it's just been used. You know, someone's yeah. just gone back here, got something. Who knows? Yeah, I think I think that's about everything for these we've of course got the logo but that's uh, that's the majority of everything that scott and the security breach guys were down to show us and uh, i guess take a good look at and dig into a little bit but very interesting you know again i thought we'd be flying through these things but turns out there's a lot more to each of these than meets the eye yeah definitely i mean yeah we go into these thinking uh, what could we possibly say about yeah. it we feel bad because we're like what could we possibly say about right. this? But when we get into <laughs> it it's like there is there is a lot to think about like not just that face value, but you got to think behind what they're trying to show you, you know, like the game that's going to come with it. Absolutely. You know, what the scares that will come with it. And, you know, maybe potential lore like the, the FNAF 1 link that Ryan found just then. I think I think I'd like to look a lot more for its own independent video and try and find more links to do with the old FNAF's insecurity breach. Because, like, yes, it's a new face for the, the company and stuff like that. But I feel like there's there's way too much of a dark past that in this place, we're going to we're going to be seeing all kinds of relics and still animatronics from the past, you know, thriving in this place. All right then, guys. Well, that is a total look at all of the security breach stuff we've seen so far. Now, I do think that on the 15th of April, there is even more security breach stuff being released at uh, an NVIDIA... Uh, I think it's like a, a, a showcase or something like that. So we might get a yeah. new trailer. We might get like direct gameplay, which I yeah. think would be really nice to see if we got like maybe a minute to a minute and a half of uncut gameplay, just showing yeah. someone playing the game, walking around, doing something, not much more. And just seeing what we can get from that. That would, I think, be yeah. probably one of the last things we'd see as well before we get a release date and eventually then the game dropping. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, and I, I really do hope they show a little bit more. It seems like they're very scared to show us stuff, maybe because they feel like it will give too much away. I think so. Um, I think they're but, walking a fine line. Like I feel like now that I've looked at these images, yes, they're pictures, but there's a lot more in them than you know what meets the eye. Yeah. But yeah, I think um, that's about it, though, for this one, guys, looking at this. And uh, this was a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys are still enjoying these. And we'll probably be back for another starter video just like this real soon. Take care, guys. Be sure to what? like, subscribe. Baz, I'm not finished talking. I... Oh, sorry, man. It's okay. I've forgotten now. You know, not that was important anyway, you know. Just, you know, theories and all that. Waste of time, in it. See you later, guys. You're supposed to ask me to come back.